Hello, my name is Alan Hooper. I'm with Southwire Company. We're here at the Solutions, Southwire Solutions University, where we teach training and productivity and safety. So what we're going to talk about right now is our trigger system, which is by far and away the one safest thing you can have on your job site, no matter whose equipment, whose wire, whose rope you're using. So I want to explain these four units. This comes as standard in our package. We have the main unit that is hooked up to the puller, okay? And it's gonna give us a low voltage reading. It's gonna tell us when to go from high gear to low gear, okay? We wanna demonstrate that. We have the remote foot pedal that goes to the feed end of our wire pull. So on the remote foot pedal, there's no cords needed. The only reason we have this is in the event you wanna use this in conjunction with the feeder, which we're not doing. We also have two other remote units. So with all three of these remote units, real important to charge these up the night before, okay? Each unit has a battery indicator so you know how much life is, is left in the battery. But when you charge it up the, the night before, you will have enough battery life to get you through an eight hour workday. No problem whatsoever. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to power up our main unit, then we're going to power up our remote units. When we do so, you'll notice the main unit is going to pick up three lights. So that's saying I'm reading three different remote units. We can buy additional remote units if we need to. If, they're, if we're going uh, like in a 40-story building, we want to put one every two or three floors. So these act as repeaters. Nobody has to man these, but if they do man it, they can stop a wire pull if they see any problem whatsoever. Once I see I've, I've linked up to all three units, I'm going to depress this foot pedal, and now I have linked them all together. We're ready to make a wire pull. Do not hit that blue button that says pair units. That's only if you get additional units, okay? So just leave that button alone. All right, so at this point we are linked and now we will disperse each person. So I'm gonna give this unit to Drew and he's gonna to go to the feed end. I'm gonna give this unit to Dave and he's going to watch the wire as it goes through the junction box. And then I'm going to supervise the wire pull with this device right here. So on the feed end, you'll notice the man with the triggers does not have to handle the wire. Everything is fine. If he had a problem, he would get off his trigger, pull your foot up off there, and the wire puller stops automatically. Then he doesn't have a problem, and that man keeps his foot on the trigger down there. No reason for him to get off if he's ready. Drew, you can get back on. And all he's going to do is look for nicks in the wire or anything that's going to cause that reel to shift. If I wanted to be a superintendent, I can walk back and forth. If I see any problem, I can stop it by hitting that. Now they know I stopped it. Okay, Drew. Okay, so now the man on the feed end stopped it, okay, because it shows ready on, on this end. So as soon as the man on the feed end gets back on, this is going to automatically activate, okay? So Drew. Uh -huh. All right. So in this case, the remote is going to stop the units and he'll see a flashing light at that point. Everybody gets off of their equipment because if somebody in the middle stops, it's going to be a while to get a fix. All right, once he sees that flashing stop light go to solid, because the man in the middle presses this for three seconds, now they can get on and they know they can start their wire pull again. Okay, so now Drew going ahead. All right, so we're ready. Drew's ready. Chris is ready. We begin the pull. So the man on the puller end, 
He the, uh, is he's ready to go. He's not on his triggers yet because I want to explain this. The lighting system. You're going to see these lights light up, and we have different lighting mechanisms depending on what type of tugger you're, you're using and what gear your tugger's in. We're in high gear right now, so we're going to step on the triggers and, and we'll show you how the lights work. See that? Okay, pull off. Now we're going to go into low gear. We're going to go into low gear and you'll see the lights in low gear, okay? You see that? Okay. So when the lights get all the way to the end, that's when you go from high gear to low gear. Once, if you're already in low gear, it's just going to max out at that point. We have used these triggers to where the actual uh, puller has stopped pulling and we did not fire our motor, we didn't do anything, it just stopped and everything was fine. But that's what the lights are for, to go from high gear to low gear.